Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip with probably the most versatile knot you will ever learn how to make, and that is the bowline. The bowline allows you to put a loop in the end of a rope that's very, very sturdy, very, very stable, will take a lot of weight, and there are so many uses for this knot that it should be the first knot that anybody learns, and they're probably going to be the last one they will ever forget. Because once you learn how to tie this, you're gonna find all sorts of uses. So I'm gonna get the camber in overhead and show you how to make this right here on the table. Okay, to get started, first off you need to decide how much of a loop that you want. How big of a loop? Do you want a small loop? Do you want a big loop? Whatever. The nice thing about this is that you can make a loop however size you want. So let's say that's the size of a loop that I want right there. So where the end of the quarter rope meets the standing end, I'm just going to double that size. And so this is the size of loop I want roughly. And this is where I'm going to be making the knot. This is where it's going to be used to take up the knot. Now it doesn't matter whether you do it this way or this way. The steps are the same. You just have to keep track of a couple things. First off, you want to put a loop in your standing end, and I'm having a hard time getting this cord to lay flat because I've used it so much and it's starting to get twisted up inside. And it doesn't matter whether it goes this way or it goes the other way. It doesn't really matter. What you need to pay attention to is which way you go because you want to start out by making basically an overhand knot. At this point, it's basically an overhand knot. If I tie this up, you can see that that is exactly what I have. And I'm going to pull this back out. So if I go over and under, I want to alternate that. I want to go over again. And now I want to follow my working end back through this loop. Now I'm going to grab here and here and give it a tug, and there's my loop. A little bit bigger than I expected, but like I say, it's gonna take some practice for you to uh, learn how to estimate where your loop is actually gonna end up at. Now I did that with this on top of this. It still works. Like I say, I'm having a hard time with this cord. It just doesn't wanna lay flat. Now this, this is under this, so instead of coming this way, I want to come underneath. So I want to go under, over, and now under my work, my standing end. And now I want to follow my working end back through that loop. And again, give it a tug, and there is my loop. Now the the beautiful thing about this is you can make it whatever size you want. You can make this to go around a tent stake, or you can make it really, really big. You can actually tie it around a tree or a branch or over a branch, um, around anything. I mean, it's a very, very versatile knot to make. And once you get the hang of it, you'll learn how to make it fairly quickly. And I'm just going to pull a bunch of excess in here to show you one other thing you can do with this knot. And that is if you have a lot of excess and you don't want it flapping around, you can just put a, a simple overhand knot in the end of it to keep it from flopping around. And you can slide that up and down and kind of neaten it up. Like I say, you can make this loop any size you want and use it for any purpose. I use this in, in conjunction with a taut line hitch and just put a simple loop on one end and put a taut line hitch on the other. And I use it for uh, guy lines for a tent or a shelter or a tarp. And that way I can just slip this under, over a, I drive a, a tent stake into the ground and then just slip this over it. I don't have to tie this down on the ground. I can do this standing up, then lean down, slide it over, and then up at the other end, I tie my taut line hitch and then I can draw it tight on and make it as, as, length, as long as I want. So again, the bowline is a very, very uh, stable knot, especially when it's under pressure. If it's not under tension, it may come undone. It can work loose. It's not the sturdiest knot when it's loose. 
but when it, you put it under tension, it's very, very sturdy. If you put just the right tension at just the right way and a certain rope, your knot may actually capsize or what they mean by twist. Capsize is what you call it when a, a, a knot just suddenly twists on itself. That's called capsizing. It's not a perfect knot, but again, it is a very, 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 very versatile knot. And there, folks, is the bowline. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with his trail tip. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out there on the trail.